All righty, welcome everybody to our Volusion training today. My name is Trevor, and I'm going to be presenting, talking about uh, specifically sales tax within your Volusion sites. Now, tell me, you people who are here live with me, um, are we responsible to charge sales tax on our sites? It might be a little bit of a loaded question, but try to answer it anyway. Are, are we responsible as, as entrepreneurs and website owners, business owners? Do we, do we have to charge sales tax on our websites? The answer, the answer is yes. Yeah, you're, you're responsible. Now, I know there are a few states that um, don't require sales tax. In fact, I had a list here. Um, ah, here we go. This is from SBA.gov. Let me show you this real quick. Some states don't have sales tax, right? Um, it says right here, currently, Alaska, Delaware, Hawaii, Montana, New Hampshire, and Oregon don't impose general sales taxes on a state level. However, many localities in Alaska have their own local sales tax, which, by the way, we found out as we've done sales tax. One of my clients who may be here, no, I don't, I don't see her here. Anyway, she was like, no, we don't do sales tax in Alaska. And it was like, well, for the most part, you don't. But, you know, certain counties and municipalities within Alaska actually do charge a sales tax. And sometimes, guys, sales tax varies from county to county. And so these states right here, basically because you don't have sales tax, you therefore don't have to charge sales tax. Um, it's your responsibility to charge sales tax in all the other states, though. So where I am here in Utah, I'm forced by the state of Utah because I'm doing business in Utah to charge sales tax. Now let's 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 just uh mark down some of the rules though, okay? Um I want you guys to get real familiar with this word right here and pardon my handwriting. This is being done with a mouse. Somebody define this for me. What does this word mean as it regards or is it as it uh, relates to sales tax? You'll hear this a little bit if you do any studying on sales tax. The word nexus means basically your place of business. So I, because I'm, I'm sort of incorporated here, I have an LLC in Utah, therefore I have nexus in the state of Utah. It means that I have a business presence here. So therefore, since I have a business presence here in Utah, if I sell to somebody else within the state of Utah, I'm forced to charge sales tax, right? So for me, in the state of Utah right here, right? So I'm gonna draw Utah for you. How about that? There's the state of Utah. I, ha I have to charge sales tax, okay? If somebody from within the state buys from me. Well, what about, uh, what about the state of Arizona? What if I have a customer there or I have a, a customer in the state of California or a customer in the state of Washington or Florida or so on and so forth? I don't charge them sales tax, right? I don't have to. By law, I'm not required because see, I don't have I don't have nexus in the state of Florida. I don't have nexus in the state of California. I don't have an office there. I I, I my business isn't incorporated there. You'll notice if if you you guys ever shop online, if you shop on walmart.com for example, Walmart no matter where you're from, if I'm a customer and I'm buying from Walmart, what, why do they always charge me sales tax? They charge me sales tax. They charge you sales tax. In fact, every one of my clients, they're charging sales tax. Why is Walmart charging sales tax everywhere? Well, because in the United States of America, Walmart exists in virtually every state, right? So if there's a store within every state, therefore they have to charge sales tax every time, okay? 
so that's just that's just a little bit of theory behind why a sales tax is as it is and remember your responsibility is you have to you have to just ask this of yourself you have to say okay what state do i have nexus well that's going to be the state where you live if you're a small business that's going to be the state where you live so okay i have nexus in the state of louisiana and then i have to ask myself does Louis, does the state of louisiana have sales tax and if the answer is yes then you need to be charging sales tax on your site okay but only when people from Louisiana buy from you. I think these are really good links right here. I, I wanted to share these with you. I know this might appear a little small. I'll, I'll see if I can you know, maybe zoom in on this a little bit. This is a, I uh, actually thought this was a really great resource. Actually, I won't share this one first. I'm gonna share this one with you guys first. This is from sba.gov, this is called Sales Tax 101 for Small Business Owners and Online Retailers. Really, really good stuff. Let me see if I can at least just post the link here for you guys so you see it. For some reason, my word counter is not working today. What if I use Bing real quick? No, that's not a big enough window. Um, trying to think I can show. Oh, I'll just share it with you guys here. Okay, I just sent that link or, or copied it to everybody. Okay, so that's kind of like your, your what is sales tax? Sales tax is a retail point of purchase tax imposed by state and local governments. It is paid by the purchaser of goods and services, blah, blah, blah. Um, oh, I thought this was interesting for you guys. Um, have you ever noticed that some of your suppliers will request that you have some kind of a tax number. How many of you guys have suppliers right now where, where when you signed up, your supplier needed to see a tax number? Well, you have to remember guys, suppliers often wanna see tax numbers for this reason right here. Because when they sell to you as a drop shipper, they want that sale to be tax exempt, meaning um, on resold items, they qualify for tax exempt status. So, you know, your supplier doesn't charge you sales tax, but they like to verify that you are in fact legit and that you have a sales tax permit so that they don't get into any trouble. And so they verify that. So this says retailers and resellers don't typically have to pay sales tax on wholesale purchases since it's assumed that the end consumer will pay sales tax on these items at the point of purchase so as to not get taxed twice for example what why would it make sense to tax you on buying goods that you intend to resell right that doesn't make a lot of sense because the end user is going to get taxed for that now, a lot of you guys get confused here and you say, well, Trevor, wait a minute. When I buy from my supplier, if your supplier is a retailer, they charge you sales tax all the time. Well, that's because when you're using retail suppliers, you're always going to be charged sales tax from them when you buy the product. So sales tax will apply to all of your purchases. But today's webinar is not so much about paying sales tax when you're buying from suppliers. Today is about when are you responsible to charge sales tax? Because by law, if you live in a state that charges sales tax, you by law need to. We want you guys to follow the law. So anyway, there's some other good reading here that'll that'll sum up more of this. Um, this link I thought was pretty valuable. If you need some resources on where um, where to uh, to find out information for your state about sales tax, and I want to just show this to you real quick. See that? This has a list of all the resources for your state. So you don't have to go hunting for them. So Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, et cetera, et cetera. This will show you all the places you should go to find out about how to make sure that you are licensed the way you should to charge sales tax. And that's the other thing that I wanted to tell you guys. The second consideration here that I thought I would list is if this is true, Okay, if, if you have Nexus in your state, 
then what's also true is that uh, we'll just say you need a permit, okay? You're not just allowed to charge sales tax without having a permit. Okay, you need you need to you have to you have to apply for what's called a a state sales tax ID or state tax number, or else really you shouldn't be charging sales tax. So I recommend all of you guys, if you haven't done it already, um, go to your, go to your state. You can even use this resource that I just shared with you, and and make sure you get signed up for what's called a a, a state tax ID or a state reseller permit or a resale permit. Um, sales tax number, tax ID number for your state, all those things kind of mean the same thing. That's just the state authorizing you to be able to charge sales tax legally and lawfully, right? Questions about that so far? All of you guys should should go ahead and get one of these. Now let's let's talk about how it relates to Volusion for just a second, okay? So I've got a Volusion builder here. Um, let me go to my view store. This is just kind of a test site, right? It's a test website. So let's go to Volusion real quick. And you're gonna notice if you wanna charge sales tax on your site, you have to do it through this option right here. So under settings, you go to tax, okay? And I'm gonna select that. Um, now, by default, you guys sometimes will be set up with the Utah tax rate because we're out here, and when we set up your Volusion account, a lot of times it'll default to the state of Utah. Um, I, you're, I'm going to have you guys select no, I'll add a new rate. Okay, so you're going to do that. No, I'll add a new rate. And it's going to ask you for your state. And so in this in this case, you know, choose your state. I'll choose my state as Utah. Okay. And so then it's going to say, well, Tell me what your business postal code is. So I'm going to say, okay, well, how about, uh, you know, 84651. And then you're going to see it's going to, it's going to auto-populate a field here, and it's kind of finicky sometimes. There we go. See it auto-populated 6.75. I want to make sure I enable it, and then I'm going to hit set, okay? Now, why did it auto-populate 6.75? Well, what what's kind of nice about this is uh you know this actually pulls the volusion system pulls its tax rates directly from a, a website called taxrates.com and taxrates.com is a website that basically takes all of your current tax rates and aggregates them into one place and even in in states that have very complex tax codes where you might have a a, a state tax um, and then also additional municipality taxes or local county taxes, it aggregates it all and filters it here into Volusion. So it's really, really easy. You just put in your your business zip code and it'll figure all that out for you. So now it doesn't matter where somebody's from in the state of Utah, if they buy from me and they put in a Utah address, my my shopping cart here on Volusion is going to automatically charge them sales tax. Now I could add more rates. Let's say I had an office in the state of California too. Then I could add a rate here and I could select California. And California is not gonna ask me in this case for a zip code, probably because it depends a little bit on where you're from in California. And so it says 7.5% to 10% and I'm gonna add that now. And, and depending on the county of the person or where they're from within California, they uh, they'll they'll decide how to charge it. Okay. Now you got most of you guys don't have Nexus in more than one place, right? You you have a small business. You're just in your state, so this should apply just really to one state. But the cool thing is, this will automatically charge it for you. And uh, assuming you're licensed, of course, then what will happen is every it depends on your state, but you can find out through your state when you contact them. But every every quarter or maybe just once a year, or even some states once a month. And sometimes you can decide that you'll need to make sure that you file tax. You'll have to tell the state how much you did in sales and then provide them with the appropriate tax. 
Okay. So it's actually pretty easy to manage. You know, the nice thing is, and I always tell you guys this, it's not like your business is a restaurant where every single ticket and every, every single sale is, is sales tax on it to where you're writing checks to the state for thousands of dollars. In most cases for you guys, uh, the, the number of transactions that should actually have sales tax charged by you should be very few because the only time you're supposed to charge it is if somebody lives in the state where you reside, right? Where you have what we've learned today is called nexus. Okay, so pretty easy to do, right? So boom, we're done. Now, you, I, I guess there's a way you can add, um, you can add like uh, manual rates or something. So you can go to settings right here and, and you can manually add rates if you want to. Um, you're not going to do that. I, I think most of you guys are going to just use this taxrates.com. That doesn't cost anything. So when you come in here and add it, it, tax rates will automatically just do all the math for you. And then boom, you're done. Just like that. You've, you've got sales tax set up on your site and, and you're ready to go. Whether you're building your site or our developers have built it for you, make sure you come in here and check to see that your sales tax is set up adequately. After all, this is the law. We don't really have a choice in the majority of states that we live, except for those few that I told you about earlier. If you're still not sure where to get your sales tax permit, can I just invite you to get onto your state's website? In my case, utah.gov. If you're in Florida, I think it's fl.gov, california.gov, oregon.gov, whatever. Go to your state's website, find their Department of Revenue, right? Which is probably where their tax division is. Or even just contact somebody in the state and ask for where, who you talk to about opening up a sales tax account. They'll get you a little form to fill out. You fill it out. Some, some states it costs a little money. Other states it doesn't. Other states it's free. And then you get your sales tax permit. That's it. So let's just go back to our whiteboard real quick. It's just a three-step process. Number one, do, where do you have Nexus? And is it in a state that charges sales tax? Again, let me, let me read out those states where this isn't going to apply. Um, Alaska, kind of, but some places in Alaska do, so be concerned about it if you're from Alaska. Alaska, Delaware, Hawaii, Montana, New Hampshire, and Oregon. Okay? If you're from one of those places, this doesn't apply. You're not going to be charging sales tax. Okay? So that's number one. Does it apply to me? If yes, then, right? Number two, you need a permit. Go get that from your government. And then number three, let me get my blue pen. Number three, um, I'll just say apply to your... Wow, that's bad, isn't it? My goodness. Have you ever tried to write with a mouse? I promise my normal handwriting doesn't look like that. So number three, apply to your website, implement it in like I just showed you, and then you're done. You got your sales tax taken care of. Okay? If you wanna if you wanna have your coach look at it to make sure it's been done right, you can, but guess what? It's pretty hard to mess this one up. Uh it's pretty easy to do in Volusion. Okay? Um, so good question, Violetta. Violetta says, when should you think about applying for a sales tax permit or a reseller permit? You know, I'd, I'd probably recommend you sign up for one sooner rather than later. I think most of my clients, I start encouraging you to get one right about the time you start looking into contacting um, wholesale suppliers. About the time you're starting to think about doing a website is probably when you should get one. Um, now, technically, you should have one anyway for eBay because if the same laws apply on eBay. So really, a sales tax permit is probably something you want to get sooner rather than later. But about the time you're starting your website, it's a good time to to go apply, especially because if you're looking at wholesale suppliers, a lot of you guys can can speak to this, and that's that they they're, they require sometimes a sales, a sales tax permit before they'll let you use them. So that's a, that's a good time to start. Yeah, that's common. That's that's definitely common, Bracky. It's it's common that suppliers won't approve you until then. 
I think they're just covering their bases, honestly. I mean, I think it's one way for them to verify that you're legit. And I, and I think from a, a legal and a tax standpoint, if they're going to be selling goods to you on a regular basis, because essentially you're, you're a customer of theirs, right? You're buying their goods, albeit they're being shipped to a customer of yours, you're still their customer. So you're buying their goods. They can't sell to you non-tax unless you have some sort of a tax permit. And and so I think they're just covering their basis when they're doing that. Not all of them do it, but I think a lot of the ones that are covering their basis do. Okay, guys, I think that's plenty on on sales tax within your site. Um, here in the next few weeks, we're going to go over shipping and checkout on the site, um, different ways to do shipping on your site. Uh, payment processing. I, I kind of want to cover a lot of the administrative stuff. Um, a lot of you guys ask me, what do I got to do to get my website published? And, and and this type of stuff that we're talking about is is stuff that you need to make sure is done before we're live and uh, trying to sell on the internet. Okay? So hopefully this helped. Guys, we'll be doing this again next week. Come again. Uh, we enjoy having you at these these Volusion trainings. Hopefully you guys are learning something as we do them. Okay? All right, guys, see you next time. Email your coach if you need anything before next week. Thanks again.